office in huge numbers across our country and and quite right too and though of course bit by bit this incredible country is getting back on its feet and recovering from this crisis and we in this government are committed as you all know to do absolutely everything in our power to help and that's what we've been doing over the last few months and that's what we're going to continue to do. And I pay tribute once again to the work of the Chancellor uh, of Rishi and his amazing scheme to eat out to help out. I don't know how many of you have, have taken advantage of it. Has, has anybody done eat out to help out? I Oh, I'm, sure, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that you're taking taxpayers' money uh, but, uh, to, to do it. But anyway, uh, it's, been, it's been fantastically uh, successful and uh, we will continue to get this country moving and to defeat the, the, the virus. But at the same time, we are getting on, as you all know, with delivering on our promises. And we, we, ha we haven't stopped. Like the teachers who've been hard at work keeping their schools going, this government has been getting on with delivering 40 more hospitals and 20,000 more police officers, 50,000 more nurses. You know what we're doing and we are getting on with it. And from this crisis, we will build back better in this country. And we will build back faster and we will build back greener. The virus has started to spread again in an exponential way. Infections are up, hospital admissions are climbing. We risk many more deaths, many more families losing loved ones before their time. And as for that minority who may continue to flout the rules, we will enforce those rules with tougher penalties and fines of up to £10,000. We will put more police out on the streets and use the army to backfill if necessary. If people don't follow the rules we've set out, then we must reserve the right to go further. We must take action now because a stitch in time saves nine. Never in our history has our collective destiny and our collective health depended so completely on our individual behaviour. Now is the time for us all to summon the, the discipline and the resolve and the spirit of togetherness that will carry us through. Brain's incompetent government has once more lost control of the Chinese coronavirus pandemic that is now at the very beginnings of a second wave that looks set to be about half as severe as that of March and April's first wave. In advance of which, Britain's police forces have been give steadily given new powers to accumulate arrest points towards criminalising people who for instance don't wear their masks or properly or are found in groups of six or more people whilst those who breach self-isolation rules could be hit with fines of up to £10,000. Police forces increasingly putting high risk areas and groups of people under surveillance which translates into mainly ethnic minority and deprived areas receiving special attention Officers roaming the streets, shops and supermarkets looking for lawbreakers with even plans to deploy the army in support of police towards enforcement of local lockdowns. Excuse me, this is the mask patrol. Have you got your mask on? Let me have a look. This is Tesco mask patrol. I'm sorry but you have to leave the store. Your mask is not fitting properly. You're going to have to leave, it doesn't fit properly. That's it, you're under arrest. You're under arrest. I'm arresting you for not wearing a mask properly. Oh look, there's someone there not wearing a mask. I'm going to have to go and arrest them. Oh, it's okay, they've got one on. This is Tesco Mask Patrol. Okay, I'll let you off since you are under 16. Less than half the staff and about 80% of the customers are wearing masks. Yeah, mid-September and people are too carefree. Not good. 20% customers not wearing masks. Only about 40% of staff is that. 
in Tesco mid September. Not good. I'm wearing one. Not good. Is it? Just before two weeks from lockdown in Sheffield. Time to go. Come on, hurry up. Get the fish fingers. Let's go check out for oh, the pandemic 2.0 starts. Come on. It's going to start any minute. There's going to be lockdowns. Do not leave your door under any circumstances. Pandemic 2.0 is about to begin. This video is an excerpt from my extensive analysis that concludes in a detailed trend forecast for the stock market into December 2020. The whole of which is first being made available to patrons who support my work. So for immediate first access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts, then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just $3 per month. And also remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel for new analysis and trend forecast videos. <laughs>